feel like I've done this a million times already. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> well, remember I did the Polestar ones, which were garbage. I listened to someone with a Mazda, so that, uh... That makes sense, because this Mazda's pretty <laughs> Things happen, things happen. There's not this yet. Also, Ethan bleeped it that time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this definitely gotta be this. There's no way. Oh, there you Ooh, go. That, goodness. That one doesn't look that good. Check if that's oil. Goodness. Is that oil? That's gunked up. Definitely. I don't know what that is. That looks more like our first one. Oh, yeah. Focus. Come on. Goodness. Well, a nice clean one's going back in the hole, and we should probably check these after a little while, make sure they're not like that, because if it gets more liquid in there, there's something a lot more wrong. Yep. Definitely. We might have to do a motor swap a lot sooner than we thought. No, I just need to change the gasket. Yep, and then into a motor swap. Well, because I'm not torque wrenching this, because I don't know what the torque is, and I am not Googling it, so... <laughs> if it dies, it's not my fault, that's all I'm saying. If it dies, it's not my fault. I just changed spark plugs, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and there goes that box. Alright guys, so... It was idling a bit rough. Um, even after we changed it, we're like, what's wrong? And so we figured out what was wrong. Basically, so we all of these were plugged in right according to the lines. However, these, these were all in the wrong spot. So the ones on the edge, four and three were in the right spots, but one and two were swapped. Yeah, which is why they, they sounded off. So basically, the engine was going two pistons like this and the other two like this at the exact same time. Jesus. <laughs> We hit me you in the got face. Scared by a <laughs> it hit me in, it hit oh, me shit, in the face. Me. It hit me in the face. All right, I'm gonna run to my car. All right, so we're gonna. I mean, it sounded it idled better. So let's see what happens. We're gonna jump it again, and hopefully this time it's fine. All right, we're going try number two. Hopefully this is the right order. Hopefully it starts up the first time. Is it out of gear? I always check if it's out of gear. Okay. Try number two. So now it doesn't even start. Yeah, let's wait up a bit. I don't know why it doesn't want to crank. Alright, try again. Okay. The connections are solid now, so. Yo, know, rev up my car so it makes more power. Yeah. Okay, coming around at five. It doesn't? You didn't get the start? What? You didn't get the start? Whew. That does not seem like it's right. No. Maybe they rewired it differently? So it's not the same as a normal Miata? That's possible. Because now that it's in the correct order, it's not starting. Yeah. It's violently shaking and smoke's coming out of the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Pop the hood. Oh boy. So let's lock those again. Because obviously it was right. <laughs> you want to hold your <laughs> both of you? Alright, swap them again. Alright. Guarantee it's gonna work now. I think just uh, the motor mounts are bad, dude. Yeah, that has gotta be it. That or it's a 2000 motor and it's a different order for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm on the brake. Uh, I think it just doesn't want to start. <laughs> Because my car is not revving up to make more power, so it's the car doing this. What's wrong? I don't know, but that screech didn't sound that great.
That was a lot of snow. It's probably gas. Maybe you flooded it? If it was flooding, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't start. So. I don't get what's the problem. This doesn't look like an unreasonable amount of engine shake. Yeah. From the motor itself. It seems like it's unreasonable because the mount is on. The mount's not there. Because when you turn it on and off in general, it shakes yeah. way too much. The smoke coming out the header. I think that's what it is. Reed, I wonder if they got the right gasket. It just says on light, which means regular. Okay. What, did it shake a lot when it started? Not, did it shake less. Really? So, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's just the wiring, because I mean, it could be the wiring, it could be a crankshaft and the bottom being unbalanced. Not there. Yeah, but like, if you see it, it's still like... Okay, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna stick your hand there. It's okay. Because <laughs> now it's got good spark, it seems like. Mmm, gotcha. <laughs> so it's a little more explosive than before. Yeah. If you want to get revving on the camera... I don't think you should rev it up. To be completely honest, since it's not running well, yeah. Go ahead. Nothing. Oh, smoke, smoke. Not a lot, but like, it's a bit. We're gonna have to tear this down. Well, oh, poor me, automotor, you're retarded. Literally, when it comes to its timing. Yep, yep. It's politically correct, guys. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't think we I, need that. honestly, I think what we should do is um, we can get a new motor for three hundred dollars. Really? So, so we're fighting with this motor for what reason? Well, I mean, that's. I'm just saying we need somewhere to change it first before we, you know, we that can't do true. it here. So. I mean, convince my dad to get a lift. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't. I don't want him to get upset. So. But, you know, just saying, a lot of engine shake? No, I can't. You can't even feel it much. It's just stable. That's why I think something's unbalanced in the motor. Yeah, the best bet, I think, would just replace the motor. Get a 1.6. That's, That's better true. for boost. Better for boost. Yeah. And then, probably cheaper too, isn't it? And then we could just go to original wiring again. Or we could just get the I'll go and get the ECU and the harness and then we can just do it one time. Because this is just I mean we can blow it up though. Not today. Not today. We but we could just put on a turbo. If we have like another motor coming, throw a turbo on and just blow it up. I think that could work, yeah. Try and get it running as best as we can just temporarily and blow it up. Alright guys, so enough likes and Let's get to, uh, what was it, 150 or 200 subscribers and we'll blow up the motor? I, I'd say 150 because I kind of want to do it soon. Alright, 150 <laughs> subscribers and we'll blow up this motor and it will be spectacular. Mm -hmm. Then we could turn it into a coffee table or something. Yeah, that. Or we could, <laughs> uh, we could put on like a centrifugal supercharger, a positive displacement, and a turbo right in three. We could just rev That's it up and watch it. That's an expensive way to blow it up. I mean, if we're going to use all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so 150 subscribers and we'll blow up this motor. Yes, we will. We'll have to take the hood off, just in case we want to save that. Yep. We're going to put the driver's seat in the trunk, so that pack will work. Then, after it blows up, probably just have a hole on the side. Disassemble the block, turn it to a coffee table. Yep. You know that would be cool. It would. It would. Just like have it stand up on its own and just have a piece of glass on the top. 